Oh hi, I didn't see you there. Let me introduce myself. My name is Emma. My friends of so many I have call me Ems. So why am I here? Well, part of my course is I am to create a blog of 12 entries. In this case, I personally asked if I can do a vlog, which is why you're watching this video. This is more of an introduction, more of like a, oh, there's a new person here. What do they do? Not that many of you are interested, but I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> Part of making 12 blog entries, or vlog entries in this case, is for my uh, professional practice module. What's that, you ask? Well, my professional practice module is part of a course that I'm doing and I am doing BA Honours Illustration. Yes, university is scary. I'm at the moment in my second year. Well, what's so interesting about taking illustration as a course? What I want to do for my future career is be a freelance illustrator, either in uh, graphic novels or creating children's books, because I personally enjoy drawing just for the fun of it. I have a three-year-old nephew who will be nephew. I have a three-year-old nephew and I draw him pictures so we can colour it in. My interests are gaming, creating art of course, uh, listening to music and reading, graphic novels and manga. Outside of my studies I'm looking into hopefully making my own graphic novel. Actually saying that I am in the midst of making one of my own. If it's successful and I've got better drawing of the characters I wanted that I'm drawing, then I can redo those pages and then maybe have it as a book. My mum showed me this one photo. I think I was about four or five in it. And it basically was just me looking at the camera, but I was holding a pencil and a notepad. So since I can remember I've always been drawing uh, I can't really pinpoint exactly what made me want to draw what made like inspired me I guess I was just a creative child from the beginning I suppose maybe I was destined to draw who knows <laughs> what made me specifically choose illustration or you know what got me into like graphic novels and you know mangas and all that other stuff personally I think it's Part of it to do with influence. When I was at school specifically, that's where I got into manga. The library had mangas, so I mean, it was there. I liked the art styles, I liked, you know, the fact that I could read it as well. My favourite manga artist, hands down, has to be Takeshi Obata, who illustrates Death Note, and Platinum End, which is their new, like, a new one. And re-illustrated the original story of All You Need Is Kill by Hiroshi Sakurazaka probably butchered that pronunciation, I do apologise and the original illustrations were by Yoshitoshi Abe it's a really thick book but this is also a film, it's not called All You Need Is Kill it used to be called Edge of Tomorrow but it's known as Live Die Repeat but specifically for Takeshi Obata's illustrations I definitely suggest you looking at his artwork or at least buying some of the uh, mangas he's illustrated for and just reading those purely for the art if not for the story for a long time I've enjoyed making my own characters and making my own comics and um, uh, cartoons and that. So even when playing role playing games I would spend two to three hours maybe more on just creating my character. So it's the one thing that I love creating and I feel like with these in my comic that I'm working on I feel like that would give me a really big challenge because it'd be, I'll be creating my own story, my own lore. So I'm looking forward to actually like progressing with it. Um, even just talking about it, I listen to music is a really big part of my inspiration. Um, lately, what's been inspiring my my comic that I'm currently working on is called Curly. You know, she's uh, from Estonia, 
spirit animal blossom and diamond hard those are my three favorite tracks that i listen to a lot to get inspiration from for my uh, comic it's not just music or graphic novels i've not even said any graphic novels that i quite like reading another graphic novel that i uh, enjoy mainly because of the art style and the genre uh, lady mechanica now the uh, first time i encountered the uh, first issue i instantly fell in love with the art style and it stuck with me ever since it's beautifully coloured, beautifully drawn. Um, this um, actual story franchise is by Joe Benitez, who owns his own um, comic book company actually, and he's drawn these illustrations. You can also follow them on Instagram at L Joe Benitez. I really do enjoy his stuff. Alongside of music and graphic novels and manga. I'm a really big fan of games. I love enjoy I enjoy playing games. I've been playing them ever since I was little, since I was in primary school actually. And the game that I get a lot from for art inspiration is a game called Subnautica. My favourite creatures is the reef backs. The massive ones have got like e little ecosystems on their backs. All the creatures in Subnautica as well is inspired and based on real creatures in the sea. I mainly go to it if I have artist block or I'm looking for some inspiration or if I'm really stressed because of it being underwater. I just feel so relaxed looking at all the fish swim by and now I'm completely new at this. I'm still technically learning how to evolve my own style. The one that I currently have it's it's probably going to flash up or something like that, I don't know. But there's one, this is like the current style that I work at. My tutor has said the first year it's all about experimental kind of thing and some people tend to struggle at developing the work and evolving it. I'm one of those people. I think at the moment what I need to evolve and uh, work better on is my eyes. Now I have a webcomic on Tapastic called M's. I know right? <laughs> Comic named after me. How egotistical can you get? <laughs> and you can see for example my main character M's has a pretty blank face. <laughs> so I'm still continuing to develop in my work. I'm still learning about materials materials that I've not used for years. At the moment I'm obsessed with charcoal. Lately I've been working on really big charcoal drawings. I do a self-portrait because I love myself too much. That's it there. I'll show you the bigger ones that I've been working on. They're uh, <laughs> how should I put it? Quite big. A2. We have my hydralisk. The hydralisk is um, a zerg from uh, Star Star Trek. Sorry, Starcraft 2. And we've got Hellboy. It's better in person, if I'm honest. Yeah, this is I uh, missed one. My revenant from Doom. Again, better in person. Uh, and then the last one is Abraham from uh, oh boy oh gosh I'm really bothered about the eyes for this the eyes are hella wonky I would say this as sort of like some advice everyone will start out not good some people are just naturally talented at drawing some people not so much but the mindset I would recommend is if you're jealous of someone else's artwork and say oh they're a lot better than me use that as a source of inspiration or source of motivation to see where you can improve I do it all the time I did it since I was at school 
I looked up to other people who could draw better than me and made me think, I mean, I know they're the same age and they're just naturally talented. How can I get to that stage? And in that process, you'll find that you have a specialised style. Not everyone's is the same. You'll find that some people prefer hyperrealism, basically drawing a photograph. An example I can give that, which is where my little shout out comes in, I have a, a good friend from college who's now at university, same as me. She is looking more at hyperrealism and fine art. And I actually have got one of her works here. Yeah, wow. I'm just like, how? Her name's Tasha Lai. Let me just get a snazzy business card out here. It's really nice, crisp and clean. So you can contact her at tashalow.art at gmail.com. Uh, follow her on Facebook at Tasha Lowe Art or Instagram at tashalow.art. So yeah, she's really good at what she does. I personally am a really big fan of her work. It's skipping through all my notes, that's not good. No, why skip? No, what is it doing? What is going on? Stop! My mum likes making cards. My brother only does it for a hobby. My older sister has to be creative because she has a son now. And my younger sister is a qualified chef, so I guess in some way there is creativity in there because of the presentation and also making the food and making it look nice let alone taste good i am the only one in my family that is pursuing it to the stage of university what i want to explore more in these vlogs is looking at web comics, graphic novels, mangas and illustrators, specifically web comics as you'll find a lot of the web comics on Topastic and Webtoon you'll find that a lot of people that produce web comics is all done by one person. As someone who wants to create my own like my own comics for my future career path, looking at web comic artists that actually have made a successful career of doing that. See how they did it, how long it took them to get to the where they are, how regularly do they post, just asking important questions, what advice they can give. I'll also be trying to document my own process of making my own webcomic. Hopefully it becoming a success. I have a lot of projects in mind. It's just getting them all down out of my head onto paper and you know, actually developing things. It's quite difficult. <laughs> I believe that's everything I wanted to talk about. I hope you've enjoyed this first vlog <laughs> and uh, I hope to see you next time. See you later.